Hello YouTube, this is Ohio Keller here, and this is something a little different than usual. I'm trying out a new format for my videos to see if um I could bring you kind of along on my um nature adventures and my um documenting of Ohio's wildlife. And this time I was at Spring Lakes Park in Greene County, and I was looking at the insects, dragonflies, damselflies, many other things, but this video is just going to be about Odonata, kind of what I saw there, my photos of them. And this is kind of a trial run for this format of video to see if you guys like it. And for my grad project. To see, because I have to do a seminar at the end of it, which I am working on. And I have to do a video, well, a voiceover of it, and I'm seeing if this format works. So let's jump into the main part of the video, which is looking at what I saw. First, there were lots and lots of blue-fronted dancers around. They're on the rocks, they're on the foliage, as you'll see soon. And this is a male that I got a really stunning photo of. There's also powder dancers there, which I did not get a image of because they weren't out. They were not around. But the powder dancer would have a lot more... Um, powdery blue around its um, thorax, and a lot more kind of dulled colors. So there's a male blue-fronted dancer. Here's a female that I got a really bad shot of. Well, weird angle shot. I always like to get side shots. Well, these guys are really vicious predators, and there's a lot of gnats and small flies and small bugs around there for them to eat. So there's quite a good population of them there. I only saw one Eastern Fork tail. Normally they're the first Odonatas I see during the season. And they normally have very good populations kind of everywhere I go, but not this time. They're there just kind of... There's only one that I saw, and I saw kind of like near the end of my walk as I was walking back from one of the back ponds. If you guys want me to show maps and stuff of the place... I could do that in the future, I kind of just put this together as a quickly to see if you guys like it and to see how the format works. But in the future I could definitely put a lot more effort into these PowerPoints if you guys really like it and want to know more about stuff. The first Odonata I got a good photo of was a, well, not good, it's a bad photo, but got a photo of was an Eastern Pond Hawk. And that was the only one I saw during the trip, otherwise I'd show a better photo of it. But hey, you could tell it's, it's an eastern pond hawk, all slaty blue. Did not let me get close at all. Sometimes these guys let me get really close and get really good photos of them. But not this one, not this male. The females are green. I did see some females laying eggs, but they did not stay around for photos. And here we have a cool one, a slaty skimmer, a nice slaty blue color. Got a really good shot of that. They're listed on iNaturalist as vulnerable in Ohio, but they're pretty common. You could find them in a lot of places. So yeah, that was good to see like three or four of those flying around. And that one gave me a really nice pose. Here we have a blue dasher, sometimes confused for the um, common pond hawk. But the tip of the abdomen is black. It's a little bit of a different shade of blue. Its wings have a little bit of color on them. And then its eyes are a nice green color. Now that guy let me get really close. I got two good shots of those guys. And this one I thought was a little bit better. And there we have one of my ones that I had such issues catching for my um, entomology collections. And that is common whitetail. They move around a lot. I do have a favorite perch, and this this little um, branch was this guy's favorite favorite place to sit, so I just had to wait for him to fly back around the pond, and then he landed. Boom, photo, good. So there's a tip on photographing these guys if you are um, having difficulties. And here we have a really cool species that I don't get to photograph really too often. This is the second time that I've seen it. And that is a flag-tailed spiny legs. Well, spiny leg. But 
didn't give me the best photos, but hey, good to show you guys. And they're sitting there on the rocks. They like a lot of rocks to sit on and ambush prey from. Then you could also see the flag tail right here at the very end of the abdomen. Also, I'm going to start adding families into here, what family they're part of. But yeah, there, that was really hard to get close to that one, and yeah, hopefully you guys have better luck seeing it than I did. And then we have an eastern amber wing floating in the water, which was a surprise to see. Didn't get, this was the best photo I got of these guys. And this is a male. Females are a lot duller colors with black banding on the wings. But what? But right next to it is a fishing line that I think it tried to land on and then crashed in the water. Because these guys like to land on rocks, small um, small reeds sticking out of the water, small grasses around the water. And it probably saw it as a thing to land on and it crash landed and ended up in the water. Sadly they did a big cleanup around there so there were no big branches or anything to scoop this guy out of. There's kind of a steep bank to get to it full of unstable rocks but yeah clean up your fishing line because when I'm out fishing I never leave anything back unless I seriously have to because the thing is just stuck beyond all belief and I need to try to get a um, lure um, unstuck gadget thing I need to research into that so I just stop losing stuff but I do a lot of fly fishing so if a lure gets stuck it gets snapped off right at the hook deep in the water that will hopefully not harm any wildlife and plus I try to clean up anything any messes I see other people leave because people leave a lot of messes so always pick up your fishing stuff always you're not just hurting birds even small wildlife but this pond also is kind of one of the it's the back pond or with all the trees and everything around it with there's um I had a um oh what is it called two years ago I think or even before that, I had a um, one of the emperor butterflies. Hackberry Emperor is just floating in the water there. I don't know what is it about this pond and insects just crashing on it. Uh, and that's it. So yeah, if you guys like these style of videos, let me know. Also, let me know if you want me to add more stuff to the videos, which I will definitely be adding some more things. Also, these have been, so far this has been a fun video to create, and I hope you guys got an idea of what I was doing out there, just photographing insects, wildlife. I did photograph some birds and some other insects, and a spider, but that could be for a completely different video if you want to see kind of the, diver the total diversity of an area if you want that. But I just want to start bringing out more videos on this channel about all sorts of sorts of the insects and stuff I've seen as well as many of the birds during winter time I take thousands upon thousands of bird images with fall migration incoming this could be a good chance to show you guys some really cool images with some really cool birds so that is all remember to like and subscribe and I'll leave and I'll see you in the next video